Hi, I have a bit of a problem. For some reason, and I don't know why, my camera has decided to get stuck all the way zoomed in. And I mean all the way. And no matter what I do, no matter what I press on it, it doesn't change. I've turned it off, I've removed the batteries, I don't want to do a factory reset, and that will probably fix it, but I'm not gonna do that just because it technically works, so I don't wanna break it, just in case it decides to not work. Uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but you know, literally speaking, this is supposed to be a face cam. And I know that a lot of edits are supposed to be like zooms of faces for ha ha funniness, but I guess we're just gonna have that all the time. It's kind of some Blair Witch thing going on right now, which isn't a bad thing considering I'm about to play a horror game, but it is just a little odd. And I just wanted to address that because I didn't want to open up this video and be like, hey guys, nothing's weird about this one. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Yeah, no, I'm aware. I know. Um, yeah, I know. I just wanted to get it out of the way first and foremost, and I don't think it'll be too much of a problem, so let's play SCP Containment Breach. Hi, this is gonna be up close and personal. It's okay, just look longingly into my eyes. And it'll get normal sooner or later. Just keep looking. Why wouldn't it be normal? There's nothing weird about this. All right, this is gonna seem like some Stranger Things bullshit, but it's also very hot, so I'm very sweaty. I haven't been mind flayed. I'm I'm just me. I'm hot, so I'm gonna chug this water to keep my body temperature down so that nothing dies inside of me. Ah, okay, all right. It's also just a little just a little too low, so we could just do it. <laughs> <laughs> like some goddamn interview with a person in like uh, protected custody or, or like uh, the protect the the protected witness the uh, the witness protection program. Yeah, it was horrible what they did to me. I still wear the scars from the Dell W attack of 2014. They just kept coming after me, and there was nothing I could do to protect myself. And. Uh, <coughs> Oh God. This has been a like a four minute, uh, no way. It's been way cut down from that, but there's been like a too long of a, let's play the game. It has been a while since I played this. There's been a number of updates to the game. And if you remember last time, it was a little bit unstable. So with this one, I'm trying to play a build that is not one of the most recent builds uh, for the experimental weekly builds. I think this is a stable build unless something goes horribly wrong. And if something does, I will go back and try to find a more stable build. So with that being said, here we go. Back into the world of SCP Containment Bridge. It's going to be zoomed in, but it's going to be. I've removed, Lixie, and I'm sorry, I've removed like 90% of your jokes. <laughs> you can't zoom in. What are you gonna do, zoom in on an, an eyeball? <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny at all. What are you gonna zoom in on a tooth? My blue tongue? Which is perfectly normal and natural. So I don't know what new they've added, but I'm guessing it's still gonna start. Oh yeah. In the same place that the other ones started. Which is very cool. Did I have a hand last time? I can't remember. I think I did. Did I? Maybe I didn't. Oh man, I got some meaty fingers. I bet I could do some damage with those fingies. Hey, now this looks this looks roughly the same, if I do recall. Hey, don't mind as I stand on your corpse. Was there anything upstairs that I needed to grab? I'm hoping that this build is going to be more stable and Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Whatever, we're moving on. What the hell? Uh, no, it's probably nothing. There was nothing there, right? I, I thought I saw something. Okay, all right, here I go. Where's my blinker? Do I not have a blinkometer? Why don't I have a blinkometer? Where's my blink on? Why am I not blinking? Where's my blinko? You know, if enough people like this zoomed in look, because I know how much you appreciate my pores, uh, maybe I'll do it all the time then. It's, it's a good look. It's a good, it's not a, it's not a great look, but it's a, it's a look. Okay, here we go. Now we're really in the thick of it. Okay, so there's gotta be, wait, this already looks new. I don't remember there being a down here. 
I don't have a flashlight or anything, so I don't know if I'm gonna need to see nothing. Okay. All right, a little bit odd, but I like that. I like areas that just exist. It's better if the world isn't just boxes and hallways that you can go in and nothing you can't, because that doesn't make sense. What is this? Lost your PDA, me too. Can someone seal this please and me? Seal what? <gasps> Service ducts. Ventilation ducts. Ooh, all right, okay. Well, this seemed, was that a face on the wall? Oh, no, I'm just crazy. I'm seeing faces. Big, meaty faces. Oh, 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 wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Why are you doing, did you freeze? Oh no, you're just very still. Um, all right. Hey, I got a RB R B spike. It's one of those boss town dynamics thingamaboobers. Ooh. Okay. Just gonna skadoodly doodle over here. Hey, can I go in the vent that it came out of though? <gasps> I'm gonna save. I don't like that. That's some cool lighting. Ugh! No, thank you. No, thank you on that one. I'll take a big heaping. Uh oh. Rub dub dub. Rub in the tub. I have to get my arm all the way up here so you know what I'm doing and I'm not just scratching something unsettling. Oh good, dead bodies! My favorite! You know, a lot of this actually looks very different. Can I get down there? I can't jump, my legs don't work. But that's what I'm talking about, uh, you know, in regards to world building. Like, things that exist outside of simply the hallways of which I am walking through. That makes things feel a lot more real. I am a little concerned because of how different things have been so far that I think you're gonna throw a curve by a what? Okay, there's those robos, but this is all closed off. All right. Oh, that was here. I see. Ooh. Well, I still don't have a need to blink. Oh, it's, I've been through that before. Well, oh, I need to blink. My eyes suddenly have a pain in them. Great. Ah! Oh, I thought I had more time. Okay. Right. Weighing 468 kilograms. 468 kil- It moves so fast for something so rotund. Man, loading takes a long time. Oh, good. I'm here. Why am I here? Oh, I got a shot. Scrub a dub dub rub in my tub. I feel- I feel like I should have fixed the camera. But at this point, we're all in this too deep to go out of it anymore. I'm hoping that you're all holding your- computers and or laptops and or tablets and or phones as close to your face as possible so that we can all share in this experience of uncomfortable closeness. I want to be in everyone's personal bubble. Is... Yeah, I don't need, I don't need any of that in my life. I, I'm actually okay. Uh, that thing's personal bubble, whatever was in there, I'm gonna do without. All right, fine, I'm gonna do with. Hey, how you doing? Oh! What? Where did you come from? Oh, still there. Good. Okay. Well, whatever was in there, I'm sure I don't actually need it. And my blinkometer is gone. I don't need to blink. It's amazing how that condition just clears right up. Ooh, blinkometer engaged. Okay, I'm. I, I don't care what's in there. I, I like. I, it got me so fast before. It's all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, well, let's dance, fancy pants. Oh shit! I'm not move. Oh shit! No! Ah! All right. Cool. Good. Great. That's good. I'm so happy about that. I'm so glad that that is the way things. Are. Hey, listen. I don't know how close I am. I don't know how big my pores seem to you right now, but listen. I love you. <laughs> okay. You still there, buddy boo? You still there, butter butt? It's a weird sound, but I don't know what that do. All right, I'm gonna take you, yoinkus. I don't know what you did, but I yoinked ya. Hello? A Coca-Cola? I see, wait. I'm sorry.
right? I'm sorry. You want to run that by me again? I have a funny feeling this is going to kill me. Here we go. Ooh, refreshing. Delicious. What did it do? I have no idea. Am I going to die? I know those things are bad for me. Bon bon. Bon bon. I forget what, wait. Oh, I've got I still got it. You feel like drinking more would be a bad idea. Okay, you drank SCP-207 too many times. That was it. Okay, so this is the closet of food that you don't want to eat too much of. I know that. I know how that works. But me, I am always eat too much of that. Everybody get ready for a really uncomfortably close reading of SCP-207. SCP-207 is to be stored in a waterproof locking metal container measuring 1 by 0.5 by 0.5 meters. Mass spectrometry and chemical tests have shown higher than usual concentrations of caffeine and sugars, both natural and artificial, along with redacted. The practical effects of this is when a subject drinks SCP-207, they will effectively no longer require sleep or rest, nor attempt to sleep or rest. No subjects have lasted longer than 48 hours during testing, which the cause of death varying from massive internal organ failure to exsanguination due to major artery ruptures. Tests SCP-207 Alpha and Rho have shown that after approximately 24 hours, the increases caused by SCP-207-1 means subjects can easily underestimate their speed. More specifically, in SCP-207 Rho, the subject was able to escape the containment area despite a 5-meter wall. However, this caused the test subject's internal bone structure data expunged. Why wouldn't you just say that it caused it to explode out his ass? Okay, so it's a, it's bottled soda that'll kill you dead if you'll make your brains explode. It'll make your bones melt out through your eyes. Real cool, huh? Thamiel, Thamiel. Mmm, fun. Okay, whatever. I got what I needed in here if I needed anything at all except the bonbons. <gasps> Why? Why when I why when I'm in the midst of whoa? Why I need a bonbon. I need a bonbon. I need a bon I need a I don't need a bonbon! Oh! Oh Nelly! I need some I need some sodi pop is what I need. Oh yeah, it's I can't run. Why can't I run? I'm trying to run. Where 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 okay, here we go. Okay, this is great. Ooh! You're a lot faster. What 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 what? What? No! Okay, good, good, yeah. Oh, it's so sluggish on the slop. Why do you have to slop all over the... This is bad. Ah! I thought... Oh, no, ow! You really need to stop beefing me with those big meaty arms of yours. You're real hard to run away from. Ow, you suck. You suck so much dong. Oh, okay, here we go. You're, you're a lot worse. You're a lot worse. What happened to you? You used to be friendly old, old Uncle Larry. Oh, Nelly, where? Please stop, please stop. I want to get off Radical Larry's wild ride. Okay, I guess we're off. Wow, he's a lot worse. I, I can say that with complete 100% assurance. Can I, did I get anything? Bandage, perfect, perfect. All right, empty, great. Exactly what I wanted. Man, it sure is more difficult when anything could happen at any time. Okay, all right, yeah. I know how SCP-914 gas experiment. Well, yeah, this is just talking about gas, I, I guess. It's not really instructions, but I get it. I, I get it. One to, oh, wait, no, I get it. This is trying to explain how it works, but in a scientific way. That's really interesting. Refill empty H2O cancer. So for so at some point, I'm gonna need helium or, or neon or argon at some point. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get some argon or something. Or I'm gonna get some helium. Let's drop this bad boy, drop that. Uh-huh. All right, so one to one to get helium. Okay, ka -chunk. Nice. Nice, nice, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, so helium plus oxygen on fine equals neon because what it's doing is it's combining the atomic number. Fascinating. All right, let's 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 make some magic. Interesting, so fascinating. I love it. I love it. Oh, whoops, wait a minute. Medium scrap. Wait, why did I get scrap? But I did it on fine, that's what it said. Yeah. It is hot 
in here. I'm about to start sweating bullets. All right, okay, got this, this, and this. Hydrogen, oxygen, isn't that what it says? Oh no, helium, that, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, I am an idiot, okay. Hydrogen plus hydrogen equals helium. I didn't even recognize that other step there. That's very dumb for me. So honestly, this is an alchemy machine as it stands right now, which is real cool. I love this though. This is like, there's never been like a, a logical use for this machine and I haven't thought of it in this way at all, but like it's, it's super cool. It's super cool. It's super cool. It's super cool. I get why neon to argon is one to one because it's, it's another noble gas. It doesn't make a lot of logical sense, but whatever. Okay. So if I take one neon and I put it one to one, it should flip floppy floop over to argon and i don't know why i want argon but i know i want argon oh yeah nope that was wrong okay i was uh, wrong about that one let me just load up uh, the old uh, cause i don't want to do any of that again god i love the concept of scp i really do i love the concept of scp let me let me stand back a little bit i love the concept of scp the idea behind it is so fun. There's so many good SCP stories out there. I feel like someone should make an SCP movie and do it well, do it with some justice. There is so much potential. There's so much potential to be had out of this universe that has been collectively made over time. It's just, it's just such a fascinating concept. I think everybody loves it. Like there's, I, I've yet to meet someone that is like, dude, stupid and I hate it. I don't know, there's probably been someone like that. All right, either way, I gotta make another one of these. I don't know why I need Argon, but I want Argon, so I'm gonna get Argon. Yeah, I'm gonna get Argon. Uh, I thought, you know, for I thought it didn't make sense, because that, that doesn't make any sense with the whole, like, it'll become another noble gas, because that it, it wouldn't make sense for this to logically work that way. So if it doesn't work that way, which I'm thinking that it doesn't, then, uh, you know, mm, yeah. Technically, I could make anything with this. With enough helium, you can make, or with enough hydrogen, you can make whatever you want. That's how stars did it. That's how stars did it. They exploded everything into everything that we needed, and so we have everything that we wanted. That's how it happened. That's how it was. That's how we did it back in the old days. The old days meaning before we Earth was a Earth, or the planet, it was a stardust. We're all made of stardust. That's what I'm saying, we're all stardust people. Stardusties. I'm like getting delirious from overheating. This is like the, this is the let's play of problems right here. I got a lot of issues. I got a lot of issues, but that's okay because you guys are here with me suffering the entire time. Suffering through all of this. All right, so if I put these bad boys in here, then I should get argon. Let me look up a periodic table. Period table, that's what I want. Neon argon, yeah, it's- Wait, but there's more. I need neon and oxygen to make argon. You can't pull the fast one on me. I'm too smart for you. You think I, this is my first rodeo? <laughs> No, not today, not today. I'm just gonna go ahead and get more oxygen. <laughs> Stupid asshole. Technically the elements of the actual canister is iron. So there's some funkalicious feeling going on here. But if I'm right, it's this plus the neon. And that's what's gonna do me. That's gonna do me good. You get that on fine. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. I'm gonna get some argon. Oh! I'm right. And you suck. I'm a toasty biscuit. And I'm a little grumpalicious. And you have disrespected me. Hang on, I, gotta, I need to get back to a point where I, you, 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 you son of a bitch. You sack of shit. Think that you can disrespect me? Uh-uh. Whatever, I'll play your little game. Here we go, we're playing a game. Ha ha, fun game. Hey, what? whoa. Wacky, we're playing a wacky game. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Doesn't make any sense. Unknown canister. I wonder what it is. Is it argon? Anyway, I'm gonna stop making fun of that and I'm gonna get back into the game. Ah, this looks peaceful. I bet it's not. All right. Anything useful here? Okay. Observation room. Okay. Papers. Okay. Okay. Big up, uppy platform. I think they call this the uppy platform. That's what I think they call it. Up, ooh. Very fine, H2, some type of explosive liquid. H, E, gas with very loud density. Do not inhale. Gas with very loud density, low density. Oh, okay, I see, I see. That's interesting though. I like that because it's like this weird scientific approach to something, what did I just pick up? Helium, I already have helium. Touch duck. What? 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 What the? Did they put me in this game without my permission? Oh no, not did <laughs> hey, it's a duck. I know that music. I know that music! Oh, I haven't heard whisp- What was it? Bye-bye. I haven't heard whispers in ages. The documents. Duck applier. Of course it is. The object appears to be a duck sporting features from Mark Edward Fishbach, known online as Markiplier. Subjects in close proximity to the duck express a strong boost in charisma. Effect seems to only apply regardless of the emotional state of the subject. That's how it works around me. You get near me. Listen, that's why I'm this close to you today. It's all for a purpose. I'm here to boost your charisma. Just looking at a video of mine is like drinking that Coca-Cola. You get a plus boost to charisma and other stats that will eventually lead to your untimely explosive demise. So don't overdose on me. <laughs> It'll end badly for the both of us. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry for playing such a buggy version of the game. This game is really well made and I like it a lot. But now I realize that I've reached a dead end, and I have to go running back through the ways that Radical Larry doth chased me. And man, he doth chase hard. But also, what I learned is I don't necessarily need to run the entire way away from him. My panicking, much like everything else- What did I just see? The frick was that? I look out of the corner of my eye when I could see my face over there and I thought I saw- Anyway, probably nothing. Which way did I come from? <gasps> Why? Okay, alright. Nice and not panicking. Nice and not pan- Easy going. Easy. This is the way I came from. Not- Oh, yeah. You know what? Actually, you're fine. Oh, yeah. I wanted to go this way anyway, so I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Huh, wait a minute. Some- What? Akira Corporation? <gasps> Chambers running out of argon. Talk to SCP-914. Guys, they were working on something for this. You talking Akira like the movie Akira? While we understand that some personnel may become emotionally attached to the SCP items they're tasked with securing, we inform that public displays of such attachment are highly unprofessional and may be damaging to morale and are therefore discouraged. Any personnel witnessing placing memorials, writing letters, creating graffiti, or other such displays while inside Foundation-owned property is subject to reprimand and disciplinary action, up to and including demotion. Personnel are encouraged to not interact with any such display, and if located, report them to site administration immediately. If you find yourself growing attached to an SCP object, please report to your supervisor for psychological evaluation and counseling. Interesting. Well, I have Argon, but what would it do? Uh oh. Okay. I don't know if this is Argon. 
Did I not get Argon? I thought I got Argon. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't get Argon. Maybe this really is an unknown canister and I meant to get Argon, which would be problematic because I overwrote that save. Anyway, I'll come back to that unless I just release the evil. I might have released the evil. But that would make sense. Falls under the purview of containment. Hello? Bathroom? Butt ghost? Butt ghost? Butt ghost? Butt ghost? Butt ghost? You gonna eat my butt? Damn it. I feel like the butt ghost is a forgotten thing from the yonder year of 2013. There used to be a butt ghost. Ghosts would threaten to eat your butt. It was very scary. Very scary. It was scary. It was so, trust me, it was so scary. Hmm. Patreon offices documents, huh? Oh, I know what that. There's nothing up there. Maybe there's something up there. Maybe? There wouldn't be anything up here, would there be? They make offices for Patreon patroners. For patronuses. Okay. Blood. Anyway, it's getting a little toasty in here, so I'm a mosey on around. No time to waste. Gotta keep moving forward. Ah. I see. Oh, is it because I did fine and not one-to-one? -one? That would make sense. See, it, it did make sense. But it's not stupid. It's, it's, it's a little stupid, but it's not stupid. What is this one? Hello? SCP-1499? What is that? Warehouse has key cards. Someone tell Anderson to speak with them about it. Oh, it's, is that the gas mask? Oh, uh, that is the gas mask. Okay. Man, they really did up. They did an overhaul on this. They did an overhaul. Oh, speaking of overhaul! I'm gonna overhaul my ass out of here! Uh, oh, that's a precarious. Oh, my grundle! Why do you have to slap my ass with such force, Radical Larry? Sorry, I gotta get clean. <laughs> okay, so the only thing that I know how to do now is getting this Argon. Getting this lusty Argonian maid. That's what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. I... It's not, it's not what I'm talking about. Sometimes my brain just like connects dots and it, and it shouldn't connect them is, is the thing. It, it should not connect them and it, it does. Anyway, I got, I should get going. I look at the time. I gotta get gone. I gotta get our gone. I gotta get Argonian ass. I just gotta get some water and drink. It's thirsty. I'll be back when this is done. All right, neon, neon. So one to one is the trick for this one. I saved. Did I save? I think I saved. I I saved. I saved. All right. Give me the Argon. I don't know why that happens, but that happens. Okay, cool, good, great, let's go. All right, let's save and let's put some Argon into an Akira containment place and- I don't know what it's gonna do for me, but I got a good feeling it might kill me. That's always a possibility when I'm playing this particular game. Boink. All right, cool, good, great. All right, let's do purge it. Mmm, purge. Yes. What did I do? What am I doing? Oh. Unlock. What? What? Here be dragons. <gasps> Pardon? Oh! Oh, look at him go! Whoa, what the hell? I don't know. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was about, but that was so cool. It does remind me that sometimes the paranormal and the surreal, you know, it doesn't always have to be something horrifying. It can be something beautiful and amazing and wondrous. It just doesn't belong. It's just anomalous. I don't know why I did that, but I loved doing that. That was great. All right, cool. I'm gonna go now. Okay, so this has been a pretty good foray into the new stuff so far. Just early, early new stuff in this version of the game. I'm gonna fix my camera and then I'm going to revisit this properly in a nearby future episode, but they've done a lot to polish this and I can tell the work is definitely there. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know if you want more of this down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Oh, why? No, bye bye, why? Come on, no! <laughs>